an abstraction is basically an entity that holds a group of code. And then every time that you want to use that group of code, instead of typing it or instead of putting it every single time, you can simply use the name of this abstraction. So this might be a little bit of a confusing topic. So let's jump into the code and that way we can understand it better. So let's say I wanted something like print. Um, if I wanted to print all, if I wanted to print some names, okay. So let's do print bill, print, um, Joe, print, Adam, and print Steve. Okay. So let's say I wanted to print all these. And I wanted to print them in a case. So let's say if, if for this scenario, uh, let's make a Boolean variable. Let's say var um, users came to work equals true and um, var users left from work equals true. Let's say if the users came to work that day, so if that's true, print the name of the users. And then I also want to say if the users if the users all left work that day, print the name of the users. Users left from work. So technically, what I would have to do is copy paste this list of code here and here in order to run it, right? And this adds extra lines of code. And let's say I wanted to change a name from Adam to um, to John. Now I have to go here, I have to make this John, and then I have to make this John again. When writing larger pieces of code, this would be really difficult to do. So instead, we use something called an abstraction. So we can define this by saying func, uh, name of users, parentheses, and then curly braces. And we put this code inside the curly braces here. So this time, instead of copy pasting all of these print statements and code, I'm simply going to say name of users and name of users. And this time, let's say I wanted to change it from John back to Adam. I don't have to change it in multiple places. I can just change it here in the function and it would automatically change. And this also makes our code much simpler to read and make and type. So I run this, it gives us the exact same result, it makes our code simpler and more efficient. So I want you guys to practice everything we've learned in this course and get ready because next we're gonna jump right into app development with Swift.